There has been a 14% rise in people testing positive in the week to the 20th of September, the biggest increase since the summer. There has been a 14% rise in people testing positive in the week to the 20th of September, the biggest increase since the summer. But there is no clear evidence of an autumn COVID wave starting, says the Office for National Statistics. But there is no clear evidence of an autumn COVID wave starting, says the Office for National Statistics. More recent data showing a rise in hospital admissions with COVID has been called a wake-up call. More recent data showing a rise in hospital admissions with COVID has been called a wake-up call. Mr. Thomas Waite, Deputy Chief Medical Officer for England, told BBC News that a number of new sub-variants of Omicron were circulating at low levels and could be behind the hospital figures. Mr. Thomas Waite, Deputy Chief Medical Officer for England, told BBC News that a number of new sub-variants of Omicron were circulating at low levels and could be behind the hospital figures. Daily hospital admissions are lower than where they were for much of July but highest among the older stage groups. Daily hospital admissions are lower than where they were for much of July, but highest among the older stage groups. However, Six out of ten people with COVID in hospital is being treated for something else not COVID-19. However, six out of ten people with COVID in hospital is being treated for something else not COVID-19. Mr. Waite said, the fact there are people getting so seriously ill they need to go into hospital is a wake-up call to us all that COVID is still here. The fact there are people getting so seriously ill they need to go into hospital is a wake-up call to us all that COVID is still here. Health experts have warned of a flu and COVID twindemic this winter urging those who qualify to get their free jabs now. Health experts have warned of a flu and COVID twindemic this winter, urging those who qualify to get their free jabs now.